Hey there everybody, this is John and this is Golden Car Comics. Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a dual contest entry. I'm going to make, be making an entry for Simplify Comic Guys ASM 300 contest because I want to get in as many entries as possible. I really want to rent that book for my son. First Venom. I mean, gotta have it. So, <laughs> thank you for throwing the contest, uh, Vince. This is one of my entries. And I'm also going to be making an entry into Huey's comic contest, uh, Huey's Comics. So uh, stay tuned and listen to some cool shout-outs and check out some cool action figures while I, while I do that. I'm going to be showing off another set of my Crime Syndicate figures. Uh, this is, of course, Johnny Quick, Earth 3's version of The Flash. Of course, Mr. Bad Guy, uh, the uniform. This is the classic Johnny Quick. Obviously, he has no mask, but the colors are the same as the Flash. You notice the little lightning bolts on the side of his head. Try to get the glare out there. And in the comics, and also in the in the animated movies that he's been in, they make him Australian, so he speaks with a really big accent, and it's kind of cool. Anyway, he's a cool guy, and it's Johnny Quick classic. And then. We have Johnny Quick from the New 52 Forever Evil storyline. And he's got the bug eyes there. But the uniform stayed kind of the same. Made a little shinier. They put a little more depth with the colors. It's a good looking figure. And if you notice, there's a Tomica right there on the side. Uh, that is the Earth 3 version of the Atom. Uh, obviously that's a woman. And she's in this box because in the storyline... Johnny Quick and Atomica are boyfriend and girlfriend, and they're looking to get a little bit more power than the rest of the crime syndicate, but there you go. Now, as I said, this is going to be a contest entry, so while I read off some names and explain what the entry is, I'll be throwing up some other action figures so you have something to look at and a little change of scenery. Now, Vince, Semper Fi comic guy, he asked us to name off at least five channels that should have more subscribers than they do. Now, there's a lot of great channels out there, obviously, and I think a lot of them <clears throat> should have more channels than they do. But I narrowed my list down to channels that have less than 100 subscribers, and they really should have more, and they're probably on their way to getting more very, very soon. But uh, while I throw up Harry Mudd from the classic Star Trek TV series, I will start naming off some names. Evan Jellen, great channel, real nice guy, phenomenal artist. I was actually in a live chat, watching a live chat with him the other day, and he was doing some drawing, and uh, with the exception of uh, his his version of Niobe, who kind of ended up looking like uh, David Bowie, uh, the rest of his drawings were actually really cool. But uh, check out Evan Jellen, and if Next, you should definitely check out Old Men Gamers. Old Men Gamers, just a lot of fun. I mean, his energy is fantastic. It's not just the books, it's not just the pops. I mean, it's everything and it's the way he presents it. You can just tell he's having a ball while he's doing it. Old Men Gamers should definitely have more subscribers than he does. Uh, this is my error, White Lantern Flash from DC Universe. If you'll notice, he has no emblem on the chest. I actually found him in the store like that. So, there you go. But Old Men Gamers, James K. Another channel where, you know, obviously, the man has a lot of passion and knowledge for his collections. He just, he's, he reminds me a little bit of myself where, you know, he doesn't really seem to care if he gets a lot of subscribers or not. He's just having fun sharing the collection. And that's what this is about. The subscribers will come. You just have a good time, share your collection, and enjoy seeing everybody else's. So go check out James K. Another fantastic guy, Freddy's 562. Yep, Freddy's 562. Great guy. I mean, he's always so nice. He's always uh, talking nice about other channels. He's always uh, trying to do nice things for other people. Uh, he's like an up-and-coming Vince. So, uh, Freddy's 562, I think you're, uh, 
you're going to be hitting over 100 real, real soon. White Lantern Batman from WonderCon, limited to 1,000 pieces. Uh, my son was actually a White Lantern Batman for uh, Denver Comic Con. Not this year, but last year. So, real, real proud of it. We actually used that action figure to create the costume. Because that's the only White Lantern Batman fi action figure I've ever seen, other than customs. But anyway, so Freddy's 562, there's your shout out. Next, I want to give a shout out to Trilogy's Comic Corner. Great guy, does a great impersonation of a drunk Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Actually, he thinks it's just Kermit the Frog. I, I, I make fun and say it sounds like Kermit the Frog has been drinking. Uh, the Trilogy, again, a lot of passion. He's having a lot of fun. Uh, I really like that he's gotten his wife involved. I believe her name is Heather. Very nice woman. And she's very excited to be part of uh, Trilogy's channel and getting involved with him, throwing contests with him. I think it's fantastic that he's involved his wife like that. So shout out to Trilogy's Comic Corner. Next, Louis Jewell. Man, another real nice guy. Always commenting on videos, taking the time to comment. Real thankful to, to have him around. I've, I've, I've talked with him a few times. Good guy. Speaking of commenting, I need to be commenting more than I do. I know that, everybody. I just tend to watch my YouTube channels and videos on my PS4, so there's no really, there's no way to leave comments on the PS4 app. So I, I just need to grab, jump on a computer more often and start leaving more content. And I, I'm working on that. Hopefully, you've seen that I've been leaving a few more comments than I used to. So yeah, check out Lou Joel. Next, we have Grimland, like in Grimland. He has some great haul stories. Love the one of him going to the yard sale and just pulling some amazing comics. A lot of uh, Amazing Spider-Man and so on. Uh, he's got some great haul stories. So Grimland, uh, love his initiative. I think he's got some more great stories on the horizon. Go check out his channel. This is the Black as Night set uh, with, um, of course, uh, Black as Night, uh, Black Beetle, Blue Beetle actually, one of the Indigo Lanterns. And this is the only way you can get the blue and green Hal Jordan. So that's a cool, cool figure. And there's also a limited edition comic in the back of the box, and that's the only way you can get that as well. But uh, Grimland, I've given a shout out to you. And last but certainly not least, Spectacular Spider Grandpa. The guy does not act like a grandpa, he's cool. He's not what I expected at all when I first tuned into his channel. So, Spectacular Spider Grandpa, you know, on his way to 100 subscribers, surely I'm, he does comics, he does pops, he's also into metal, he's into metal rock. He's got some great posters and albums up on the wall. So, definitely go check out his channel, that's Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Uh, would, I have no qualms in saying that we should all go check him out. Huey Comics, he was a little different. Huey just wanted us to list off our five favorite channels. So I'm more than happy to do that. My five favorite channels to turn to. Let me find something else to put here. My five favorite channels. Uh, not all of them are comic book related, but uh, some of them are. There you go. My Batman 66, the entire series. My limited edition Blu-ray box with the Batmobile still in there. But for Huey's comics, I've got to give a shout out to Lee Kirby Ditko comic channel. That is the most incredible comic collection I have ever seen. If you haven't checked out Lee Kirby Ditko, I mean he's got a ton of subscribers, but wow, go check out his channel. Those are some amazing books. I can't believe the amount of books he has. The man must have an incredible job. Uh, to be able to do the collecting that he does and I am envious and yet I still love the check that I get to see the, his collection. Uh, I also like to watch the How It Should Have Ended channel. If you're not familiar, they put out animated versions of popular movies and TV shows, How They Should Have Ended. They're a laugh riot. My son likes to watch them with me. I have a great time watching. Um, next channel I want to shout out for Huey, Buckshot33. He's over 100 subscribers, and I think he should definitely have a whole lot more. But he's a lot of fun to watch. He really gets into his collecting. 
Um, he just has a whole lot of excitement for the for the uh, for the hobby. Throwing, you can see that there. My son's Batman PS4 game. Let's throw that there. Arkham Knight. Uh, next channel I really enjoy, Huey, is uh, Gene Paul Ace Peter. Wealth of collecting knowledge. I mean, just all kinds of collector hacks, life hacks to help you with your collection and storing your collection, knowledge about books and issues, and he collects rare books as well as just comic books. I mean, just an incredible guy. Love his channel. Check it out. This one's going to be a little different. This next channel, this last one I'm going to mention for Huey's uh, contest, is a channel called Kane Enabled. It's actually Kane and then Enabled, all shoved together into one word. And it's, it's, it's a guy that's never played Legend of Zelda before on the Nintendo, and he's playing with his son, and it is just a riot to watch and to listen to, because you're just watching the, the video game get played. You don't see them at all. It's almost like Mystery Science Theater uh, 3000. But to hear this guy talking to his son and his son talking back is just a lot of fun. So Kane Enabled, go give it a listen, check it out. Uh, currently his, his series of videos is Never Played Zelda, is what it's called. And I think there's five or six parts to it right now. But those are my... Uh, this is going to be my entry for Semperfy... One of my entries for Semperfy Comic Guy's channel because he... Uh, the uh, ASM 300 contest because he's he actually put a bunch of different uh, things out there uh, to get extra entries and this is my entry into Huey's comics uh, contest so thanks for listening guys and I hope you have a wonderful day, night whatever you're having have a wonderful one and as always enjoy your collections I don't care what they are figures, comics, movies stamps whatever enjoy them have fun share them with your family and friends because if you're smiling they're going to smile too and that's what it's all about talk to you soon